Wow. So what does it take to stay in a place like this for as long as you want? There's several factors that go into being able to come out to a place like this and stay virtually as long as you want. Obviously you have to have enough water, enough uh, black tank and gray tank storage. So before we started our full-time journey, one of the very first things that we did was to install solar. Up top we have eight monocrystalline 210 watt new power NEWPOWA. The links for everything I'm going to talk about will be in the description right to Amazon. They are hooked up uh, in series in parallel, which means I hooked two panels together and then ran those to a bar, a bus bar, and ran a, a cord down to the solar control. That box right there was over here, but being over here, it's right on top of the slide, and I didn't want to deal with any of that rerouting the wires and all that. Where I located it is right directly over the inside of our half bath medicine cabinet, right in the corner, which happens to be a wire chase that goes straight down to where I put in the uh, solar charge controller. Uh, the misconception that people have with solar is if you put in you know a thousand watts of panels that you're going to get a thousand watts out uh, the way that it was explained to me was you might get a thousand watts if that's what it's rated for max output if you're on top of mount everest on the equator during the summer solstice when the sun is like 10 inches away from you other than that you're not going to get the full amount out of it but you can still maximize your output and you do that by keeping your panels clean. Some people tilt them, which works really well. That doesn't, that doesn't work for us. I mounted them. We have a one-piece fiberglass roof. I mounted them with VHB tape, very high bond tape from 3M underneath the feet. Put the, the VHB tape underneath the foot and put it right down on your roof. Like I said, this is a one-piece fiberglass roof. I don't think I would do it on a, on a membrane roof. And when I ran the wire down through that chase, I saw the wire bundles, there was two of them that big, going up through the ceiling in the, in the roof. I, I'm just not putting screws down through. So a lot of people do it this way. We haven't had any issues with it whatsoever. So VHB tape underneath the foot, and then over the top of the foot, a turnabout tape over it. And I did that for all of the feet. And by now we've been, gotta be over 15,000 miles through all the states. Uh, spent the winter in Key West. Uh, last summer we were out in Utah and the deserts and everything else. We have not had one issue with this set up the way that it is. Our solar panels go right into the MPPT 150-100. Victron is uh, the company that we decided to go through. There's several, but Victron is the one that, that we wanted. With it, we have battery monitor system but when I put in the lithium I had to change the inverter so the inverter that we had was the original 2006 and it was not set up to deal with lithium so instead of changing the uh, control board inside, which you can do, but uh, we just opted to get brand new. So we got brand new uh, 2812 lithium compatible. So with this, we got the smart battery combiner. And what this does when I hook it up, as you can see, it's not hooked up. It will hook up from the lithium batteries 
right to the lead acid uh, chassis batteries in the back. But like I said, I haven't done that yet. Eventually I will. So when the solar comes down, comes down out of the roof into this cutoff, if you ever have to work on your batteries, the first thing you do is turn off your solar. This right here is Magnum's BMS system. So over here, the very first BMS up here is Magnum's. That talks to uh, the BMS here and to the control panel up front. From there down to this one, this is the Victron BMS. And I like that because it's Bluetooth. This right here was an on-off switch. So I could turn off the power to the inverter, which is also something that you should do. The switches that I got turned out to be not good. And I ended up getting a heavy duty switch like this, which is what I highly recommend. So this switch goes directly from the batteries to everything else. So from here, the batteries, you can turn them off and you'll turn everything off. So this one right here will just turn off the inverter and you'll have power everywhere else. But until I get another switch, they're on back order. Um, if I have to work on anything, I'm just gonna shut everything down. It's not a big deal to me. So these are four 200 amp hour LifePo 4 ampere time 12 volt batteries. We have 800 amp hours of lithium. And the way that I set these up, you can put lithium any way you want. You can mount it upside down if you want to, whatever. Up on top, you can see that there's a carrying handle right here. So, so to make up for that, I put this is um, this is gym quality uh, foam padding. This is what you know they do cheerleading and stuff on. So I put that to make up for the. Uh, for the handle down here and it gives it a little bit of a cushion these batteries have been awesome cannot say enough good stuff about them we have plenty of power we geez the only thing that i haven't done is tried to run an air conditioner now i do have a soft start for my air conditioners we have three up on top they're also heat pumps we have one soft start that i haven't put in yet but when i do i'm gonna try to run uh, the air conditioner off the batteries, which I don't see why I can't we run the Instapot. We run the convection microwave on either uh, the oven setting or the uh, microwave setting. We run the electric hot water heater. Now, prior to doing all this, I changed all of the lights to uh, 12 volt LEDs. So every light that's in this rig underneath everywhere we changed out to leds which saves a lot for the power it saves a lot for heat because the incandescent bulbs they generate a lot of heat led bulbs are awesome i will link the bulbs that we got in the description below the batteries everything that i showed you uh, the switch the mppt the panels everything will be linked below directly to their stores in Amazon. And we could not do this without our solar setup. If you have any questions, I am not an electrician at all. YouTube is your friend. I YouTubed for weeks and weeks and weeks to find the best stuff that we could possibly find. And that's what we used. And it's paying off in spades for sure. So everything will be linked in the description below. If you have any questions, throw them in the comments. 
and I'll try to get back to you with a good answer. See ya. Look at this view. That is what boondocking is all about. We've been out here for five days. We're leaving in two days uh, to go further out west. But we could stay here really as long as we wanted to. They are from... Where are they from? Isn't that view spectacular? Yeah. Isn't that view amazing? Did you ever want a boondock out here? There's many factors to being able to boondock for more than just a day or two and do it comfortably. You need to have a lot of water, at least enough water. Um, there's a lot of factors.